Hey everyone, welcome to this brief tutorial on the legacy animation system within Unity 3D. Right, so what we're going to be doing this uh, episode, we're just going to be making this cube rotate. We're going to learn how to create animation, we're going to learn how to play it using uh, code. Alright, awesome, so let's make this cube rotate. Alright, so let's go, let's click on our object, go to component, miscellaneous animation. Then let's go window, animation, animation. Let's create our animation. Let's give it a name. And let's click record. Alright, so to create your very first keyframe, just change the rotation value, the position value or the rotation value. I'm going to do both so we can change the position and the rotation of the object. Then let's, that, that creates our very first keyframe which sorts where the position, where the object is. Alright, awesome. Let's on let's move this over to 30 seconds so it's from here to 30 seconds we want the cube to rotate all right so we'll just have this clicked over here then come over and we can just use these tools up here and we can just rotate our object and then we can do this and awesome if we click play our cube rotates awesome that's too good all right, awesome. Now that we have our uh, animation, let's show show how to um, play it using code. So let's create a new script. Open it up in Microsoft Visual Studio or whatever sort of software you're using. Just a little bit of lag. Alright, or a lot of lag. <clears throat> this is supposed to be a really quick tutorial. Not exactly sure what's happening here. Computer's having a hissy fit. Alright, awesome, here we go. Alright, so let's start off by creating a string call it animation one let's put an input in all right so this is how you do it you go get component animation brackets dot play and then you just put in the name of your variable all right we're going to save that we are going to come back to unity 3d and wait for it to load again all right awesome it was quick all right let's drag our script onto our cube and what we want to do is we want to put the name of our animation in to the variable all right awesome let's click play And if we click A, our object moves. Alright, that's just a really quick tutorial on the legacy animation system. One more quick thing, if you ever import a um, animation and it's not properly working and you can't find it, just click on the animation, come up to debug, and make sure legacy is clicked on and that'll fix your error. And awesome guys, that's just another quick tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you got something from it. Please subscribe for more content and have a beautiful day.